What will happen after this specified date? Shalom, this is the brother of you from the GMS Virginia camp, back at it again with another Lord winning edifying lesson. Before I get started, like always, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechacha Kadash, double honest to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the men I learned the truth from. Shalom, peace and blessings goes out to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, sincerely waiting and enduring until the return of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to deliver us out of this last captivity. What will happen after this specified date? Um, or due date, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to play the video and let you know what date I'm talking about. Some of you probably already heard about it. Um, we're, we're heading into some very serious... Well, we're already in very serious times. We've been in very serious times. Since our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, gave up his life for the nation of Yahshua Allah, beginning with the elect, we've been in serious times. But this, this year, man, is... is as this year has begun, the year 2021, it's about to heat up you know, like nothing you've ever seen before. And, um, you know, we just got a sign in the heavens, the um, ring of fire solar eclipse that took place at the end of the Shabbat um, yes yesterday. And, um, yeah, man, Jake is around here playing games. They, they, they're still um, out here conducting themselves as if they have a lot of time left to bullshit and get back and forth. Well, a lot of them are, are trying to get back to some type of normalcy, <laughs> right? As if life here was ever normal, all right? As if you being carted on slave ships and brought here to serve another nation and live under that system that the nation set up, all right, over you, you living under this system as if that's any type of normalcy. They have control over, control over your food, your education, the music you hear, the, the what you see on the TV, your news, you get fed. They have control over all of that, but that's normal. That's what Jake want to get back to. But Jake, does, it's, it's, hey, it's, Jake don't have much time left, man, before it's too late, all right, for repentance. The Lord is just going to bring the floodgates of judgment. But um, with this this date here, I'm just I'm just posing a question. What what you know what's going to happen after this specified date? Um, so I'm gonna play, let the video play, and um, do a little commentary. And of course, uh, go to the scriptures. To date, 12 states have already reached this important milestone. We, ex we expect more to make this milestone this week. Nationally, we're at 63% of adults with one shot. And we're getting closer. We still have work to do. With 73% of Americans over the age of 40 with one shot, and as we especially need people under 40 to step up. Over 40 is doing much better. That's why today we're announcing a month long effort to pull all the stops, all the stops to free ourselves from this virus and get to 70% of adult Americans vaccinated. And I'm gonna take everyone, you know, it's gonna take everyone, everyone, the federal government, the state governments, local, tribal and territorial governments, private sector, and most importantly, the American people, to get to the 70% mark so we can declare our independence from COVID-19 and free ourselves from the grip it has held over us our lives for the better part of a year. Each of you has the power to help us gain this freedom as a nation. If you get a shot this week, you can be fully vaccinated by July 4th, by the week of July the 4th. And you can celebrate Independence Day free from fear or worry. So uh, this effort has five key parts. Pause that. First, we're making it easier than ever to get vaccinated. So they they chose the date of July fourth um, for everybody, you know, to um, get the potion. Um, so I'm just curious. I'm posing a question: What is going to happen if they don't meet the quota? of the number or the percentage of um, people they want to receive the potion um, by July 4th? Um, would, there, would there be um, institutions and systems set in place to ostracize um, certain citizens that choose not to receive the potion? Um, you know, will, will they be um, outcasted from society from certain things? Will they be, not be able to attend um, certain events where they be able to shop at the grocery stores or um, 
you know, will they be able, hey, will they be able to work? Will, they, will you be able to go to work? All right. These are the things that um, should be on your mind uh, meditating daily um, because the time is now, man. You don't have, you could be weeks away from total hell breaking loose on this on this earth. Um, all right, because it's gonna what what is what this whole thing is gonna cause is, is sedition. All right, people that's for it, people that's for, against it. Oh, let me get the first precept that I want to bring. Let's go to the blue letter and let's get Ephesians, the fifth chapter. <clears throat> And let me see. Let's let's start at um verse fifteen. It says, Ephesians chapter five, verse fifteen. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. All right. I always bring this scripture out during these times because our people are not redeeming the times. This is not the heydays of America. This is not the 1990s or the early 2000s where that Murph spirit was at its peak, all right? And people were going to college and um, graduating college and able to walk into a career that they went to school for. People, It, it ain't the same anymore, all right? Um, but our people seem to think that, you know, this kingdom is here to last forever. All right. This this kingdom is was meant to fall just like the rest of the kingdoms before, it because the only the only kingdom that was prophesied to last forever is the kingdom of the Lord. All right. The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahshua, all of the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem All right. The scripture, um, the, the the prophet Daniel, Daniel, clearly tells us that. All right. But um, this kingdom, its time is up. You can clearly see that this time is up. Okay, but I'm, I'm going to get that. But um, let me get verse 18. It says, Be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. All right? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. So you're supposed to be occupied in His Word, which is the Spirit, according to John 6 and 63. All right? What, this is what you, your focus is supposed to be on right now, man. Because if you don't root yourself in this faith, this knowledge, all right, in the teachings that we've been taught from our elders through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, you're going to be lost out here. You're going to be very scared because you ain't going to know what's going to be going on. You're going to be caught out here, all right. So it's it's just it's it's very um just I'm just very curious what's going to happen if they don't meet this quota. Um, on this date, July 4th, that they have provided for the people, all right, to get this potion, you know, and, um, you know, we go out on the highways and byways and we speak against this thing and, you know, will, will we be demonized? Will, you know, will, so, hey, you, today a news report came out that, um, over there in, um, where is it, um, Pakistan, I believe it's Pakistan, um, they're blocking your phone service, you can't even talk on a damn phone. If you didn't get this post. So, hey man, it's getting very, very um, serious out here. So if you're not focused on what you need to be focused on, you're going to be caught out there. Okay. Um, let me get Psalms of 49th chapter. Because this is, this is speaking about Esau and his kingdom. But our people have made a league with um, Egypt. Like the scriptures say, they have went, what do you, they have go down to Egypt for help. This is um, Psalm chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. And that's what these people think, that they're just going to be able to keep their kingdom. And all people think this, this setup, this system is the end all be all. Working a nine to five, sending your kids off to school to get indoctrinated with lies. And they not even taught about their, their forefathers history. They ain't taught about shit. Your food is defiled, the women are defiled, the order of the family structure is totally destroyed. You think this is supposed to continue forever? No, man. The Lord didn't create the earth for it to be ran like this, man. This is just a, uh, a, a, a um, basically the Lord is showing you what life is like when evil reigns, all right? 
when um when on wickedness is set on high, the Lord is showing you, you know, what what happens to the earth, and you know, it's just, it's a total mess out here. Everything is destroyed. So, hey, just you you gotta keep your eye on these things. You gotta be getting yourself in the mind frame because you've seen how these people act when everything first happened. And people didn't know what to think, and they, everybody was fucking confused and bugged out. Well, if you occupied in the prophecies, ain't nothing going to throw you off like that. So, you know, let me just play a little more to see what else he says. Just curious, man, what, what's going to happen? Are they going to, you know, lock, are they going to really, you know, turn shit up if they don't, you know, meet these quotas? 90% of you live within five miles of a vaccination site. The vaccinations are free. And most places allow walk-up vaccinations. No appointment needed. You can go to vaccines.gov or text your zip code to... You hear that? So there's no excuse. There's no excuse. All right? You need You need. You can get these potions. They're free. So there's no excuse. <laughs> so if, you, if, they, don't, if they, they don't meet this quote, they're going to be like, okay, well, what's going on? We made it available. Who's the blame? Uh oh, wait a minute. There's a new strain. Uh oh, it's going but wild. Who's the blame? You know. Four three eight eight two nine to get a text back with the places you can get a shot that are close by. And now we're going to make it even easier. In response to our call to action. Businesses and organizations across the country have stepped up to help everyone get vaccinated. <clears throat> Starting next week, many vaccination sites will be offering extended hours during the month of June, including pharmacies that will be open 24 hours every Friday night. For 24 hours, they'll be open this month. And if you're too busy at work or school, you can get vaccinated around the clock on any Friday, any Friday. For parents who haven't been able to get the shot because they didn't have the child care, starting today, kinder care, learning care group, the Bright Horizons, alongside with hundreds of YMC, YMCA locations, are going to offer free drop-in child care while the parents are getting vaccinated. In addition... Hey, well, you, you know, you see what your man... Uh Stimmy Hendrix, that's what I call him, Stimmy Hendrix, all right, he cuts the check, all right, cuts them stimmies, anyways, yeah, man, what's gonna happen at this due date, we shall see, um, I hope this was edifying to the next time I say, Shallow Wall.